This is the examination of the hidden human condition. This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruschi. Before a major trial, and, and usually quite often after one, there's a lot of evidence that has been presented that then ends up in the, the public sphere. And and with the case of Lori Vallow Daybell, there already has been a lot that has come out, but more and more is continuing to leak out. I have always found the phone calls that she makes uh, where she thinks she's being sneaky or pulling one over on somebody very fascinating. We have some new material that you've probably not heard before. And we're going to give it to you in two different parts. The first one we have here is Lori on one of those phone calls. Lori Vallow calling the insurance company to file a claim right after Charles Vallow died. This is her audio on the phone call uh, making that claim. She tells the operator that Charles had passed away in an accident. Take a listen. Claims department, this is Robin. May I have the policy number? Sure. It is... Are you calling in reference to a death claim? Yes. Okay, one moment, please. May I have the name of the insured? L. Charles Vallow. And who am I speaking with? This is Lori Vallow. And your relationship to the insured? Um, he's my husband. Okay, one moment. Okay, ma'am, I'm just going to need to ask you a few questions so that I can open the claim and then I can go over the claim procedure with you and answer any questions that you may have afterwards. That would be great. Okay. Um, first of all, may I have your daytime phone number, please? Sure. It's two. Okay. And what was the date of Mr. Vallow's passing? Um, July 11th. And what was the cause of his passing? Um, well, he was shot. Okay, so um, I don't know what, how I want to put that. Okay, all right. Um, <laughs> and, and I hate to ask, um, but is it, yeah, you can just say yes or no. Um, it, is it, was it a homicide? No, it was an accident. An accident, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what state did he pass away in? Arizona. Okay. Okay, just bear with me for one moment. I just need to pull up a few other things. Okay. Are you aware of who the primary beneficiary of the policy is? Um, it's me. Okay. And may I have your, um, I'm sorry, one moment. My computer just went one away way. for a second. Okay. And may I have your current mailing address? Sure. It's 5531 South. Four F O U R Peaks P E A K S Place. Okay. In Chandler, Arizona. Uh -huh. And eight five two four nine. Okay, ma'am. Um, that is all the information I need to open the claim. Um, what we will do now is review the policy and the file to confirm the beneficiary information and determine the claim requirements that we will need to settle this particular claim. 
Um, once we have completed our review, um, we will prepare a claim packet to send to the named beneficiary once that has been um, confirmed. And um, the claim packet can either be mailed or emailed or faxed. Um, how would you like to receive a correspondence? Um, email would be great. Okay, and what is your email address? Okay. All right. So you should receive an email um, from our office within the next three to five business days or sooner. Um, it will have the instructions listed. Um, once you receive um, the information, uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, um, please don't hesitate to give our office a call, and um, and then we can go from there. Okay. Is there okay. anything I can help you with at this time? That's it, I think. Okay, ma'am. Well, I'm very sorry for your loss. You take care of yourself. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi. Lori Vallow in uh, all of her disturbing ness. <laughs> I don't want to say glory because it's not glory, but in all of her disturbingness. Making that call to the insurance company to file a claim after Charles Va- Charles Vallow died in a, quote, accident, uh, unquote. Yeah. There's more to come, including Adam Cox, Lori's brother, chatting with Chandler police detective Nathan Moffat just days after Charles Vallow has died. We'll have that for you here on the feed next. I'm Tony Bruschi. Stay with us. Mm-hmm.